so hopefully this is working okay i was having some problems recording um luckily i didn't get too far so yeah we are going to talk about the forge pass i know that there are some people that are probably new to it since player has been doing a buttload of new player um promo codes i mean a buttload out there let's see if there's anything good here nope nothing good it's kind of disappointing no i do not want that let's go to the shop nope that's not it there we are all right so as you know Forge Path has started, and it started earlier in the day, which if you are UTC, then of course it would be yesterday. And those for us in the US, it would still be today, it'd still be Friday. While other people, it is Saturday. Yes, I know. Okay. So we are going to get to it. Um, I have watched some content creator videos, as I always do, because I am only a hundred, a little over 120 days in. I'm like 130, something like that, in days in for this game now. So there's a lot for me. Oh, what is going on? What are you doing? No, I did not want that. Oh, where did I go? Hello? Oh, there I am. Okay, yeah. My, my phone's being a little quirky. Ignore it. <laughs> I don't know why I decided to do that. But it was like, oh, hello, let's interrupt. So yeah, getting back to where I was, the Forge Pass has started. This would be the third Forge Pass for me. And if you are new, of course, this would probably be your first one. And then there's Tezzy Bean. <laughs> Tezzy Bean! She, <laughs> she's getting comfortable over there. Uh, she gets bored with me and takes a nap while I'm doing this. So getting back to my subject, I have watched some content creator videos and, you know, a lot of them kind of went over it. Like if you've been doing it all the time, which is, you know, not a big issue for anyone that's done it before, but hopefully I can be a little bit more descriptive and help you guys out a little bit more. So what we are going to do is go over this kind of whole thing these are the rewards you get and in order to get these rewards you have to get forge points and then so many forge points equals 11 it's like 10 points equals 11 equals a level not 11 oh my goodness <laughs> can't even talk and then of course you unlock things and you have 50 slots to unlock and we have three weeks and six days to unlock everything. All right, and then the skull part here can only be unlocked by the gold pass. You have to buy the gold pass. As you can see, I bought it. I bought it last time and I thought it was pretty good. And I got massive CVC points, massive. So that was pretty cool. But yes, to get this set of armor, it's right here. And you have to get to level 50. And you have to buy the gold pass. There are two different ones. There's the 1999, uh, 1999 gold pass that I get. And then there's the $40 one, which was, comes with like a few more charms and stuff. I don't find that one worth it. For the value, it's kind of... Mm -hmm. 
I mean, you're gonna get a lot of stuff with gold pass out as it is, a lot. So if you love to well out for CBC, the gold pass is a good option for you to look at. Um, if you want to stick strictly to free to play, you are in the blue and you still get a lot there, a lot. And you still get to craft quite a bit of armor. So if you don't need this, or if you just need a few pieces, or you don't need that much help with speed, but maybe like a piece or two, you know, this is in the blue is great for you. Um, if you just don't like the way it looks or whatever, or you don't want to spend money, that is perfectly fine too. I did not do the first forge pass as it was my first one and I didn't think it was worth it then but then I found out with my second one that to me for my account it's worth it so it's like a account by account basis on whether it's worth it to you or not so whichever route you go no judgment no one cares which route you take your account is your business. What you do, what you put your champions in is your business, of course. Daily challenges. Let's move myself over here since we've already talked about that. Daily challenges are right here and you have to do what it requires to get them. So like for right here, I would have to get all playtime rewards so I would have to get everything for our normal playtime rewards. And then here I would have to defeat 54 champions that could be anywhere in the game as long as they are force affinity. So if you want to do campaign, dungeons, faction wars, whatever, as long as they're force, it will count. And then of course, with this one, you would have to win three classic arena battles using one magic champion and then upgrade a boot to level eight. Um, I don't know if they're all different. I, I don't think anyone's really compared if they differentiate from player to player. I know that they're different per day, but I don't know if they're different from player to player. So you may or may not get something different. You may get what I'm getting. You may not. You may get something different. So I don't think anyone's compared. All right. I'll let him know that I am recording. Right, that way he knows and then we are gonna go to weekly challenges this is for gold pass you have to buy the gold pass to do this there's no way around it this helps you get the rewards faster so like you can totally skip this you don't need it as long as you do your daily challenges this is basically absolutely it's basically pointless if you complete it all, you get 200 magic still, which I mean, we got like a billion of that already. And then of course it tells you the requirements to um, get more forge points. So for these, you get like 12 forge points per, it just helps you finish it faster. And then of course, if, you, if I don't finish this by the time it goes to week two, then it would lock week one out. And you have to finish all of them, get all this filled in for all the trophies to get the magic still. And then if I don't complete it within five days and 22 hours, it's just gonna go on week two. There's gonna be different things to do and might finish that, might not, you know. It's based on from account to account what you wanna do and this is like absolutely, you don't even have to worry about it. You don't have to do it to complete the forge pass. You're going to get so many points with daily challenges anyways, that it's not going to matter. Mm -hmm. 
All right. Now with the Defiant was the um, previous Forge Pass. So I did craft a ton of that. Um, I think I did a video on it for CBC for the last one. I will definitely have to check through my videos. I think I recorded it and did a bunch of the whole popping all of my forge and I still have a lot of pieces left and we can definitely filter go to equipped and look at that so you have an idea let's keep scrolling keep on scrolling do, 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 all the way down all right yeah we'll just move you there that's cool all right we're down there somewhere all right so here it is for defiant it is plus 10 percent and then minus 15 percent damage taken from enemy aoe attacks which i found was worth it for my account because i needed the help i really did need the help and it has helped me a lot it's helped me progress in the game because i need that much help and then of course I have this popped up so you can see how many champions have this equipped to them. So you have an idea that it is useful, at least for my account. I can't speak on other accounts. I can only speak on mine. And then these are the pieces that I've saved that I have left and I did tons. Um, I did like a 7 million silver cleanse and a lot of that that I didn't need that I didn't think I need was in it so I got to sell what I didn't need and get millions so yeah if you want to do the gold pass and you don't need it you can craft all those and then sell it off and get millions and millions and millions of silver if you want to do it that way if you don't need it you could definitely get millions of silver insane and then you know level up the armor that you want to keep level up and have ungodly amount of silver that's definitely a good way to go too but yeah I kept quite a few pieces and one champion that I use a lot is my mountain king so here is one piece that is on him as a speed two roll and then critical damage two roll and then the other one it has this two roll of the speed and then one roll of accuracy one roll of critical damage and they have helped my mountain king he doesn't die as fast. He still dies, of course, but not as fast. He lives a lot longer. And it helps to where he didn't get he doesn't get as much damage. So he lives a little bit longer and helps me out more. And of course, I am now on stage 13 of the Fire Knight, which I do have Vermin Lord. So that helps a little bit, but not a whole lot. It only helps when he can land those bombs and poisons, but Mountain King does a bit more. So he stays alive a bit more longer and helps out a bit more with that, especially since he ignores enemy defense. That helps too. So yeah, I've finally gotten that far. So put that on him helped me. I have it on Rhonda and it helps a little bit. Um, since I got Vermin Lord, I haven't been really using her. And then do 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 let's see. And then I of course have it on uh, Ferrox. I use her all the time. I use her everywhere in the game. I love her. She is really great for me. She helps me. She does a lot of hits and stuff. Um, she does die fast. She does. But when she gets those hits in, they're pretty massive. She still needs to be buffed up more. 
Um, that's Pixanel. She really needs to be buffed up more. Um, she still kind of sucks. I just use her for Tag Team Arena. Tomo. She's really good in it. I love Tomo. I do. I need to six star her so hopefully I can put her on my main team since I have one with pretty good power. Uh, da -da. This one she has pretty different, decent power of course. Um, she is still only five star and nothing's been really enchanted and she still needs accessories. So to have that much power like that is pretty good. Her resistance is insane. Of course, she has a lot of other pieces. She has no um, set stats, no set bonuses, I should say. But even with that and stuff, let's see what I have exactly on her. So it has resistance of 96. I know some um, creators, content creators will tell you to avoid pieces like this, but if you need resistance, it's kind of a good way to go. And she has crit rate, defense, HP, attack. Not the best piece out there, but it's the best piece for her. So yeah, that's kind of, you know, the what's the best piece for your champion that you kind of have to, you know, go by to get their power really up there. And their power kind of defines of how hard they're gonna hit. Um, I'm still kind of, you know, confused on it because I'm still learning. Because a lot of information about power is very vague. Like all the stats come into play, but at the same time, I'm gonna have. Oh, oh, no, I don't want to do that. I'm gonna have to wrap this up soon. All right, my phone's about ready to die, so I'm gonna have to wrap this up. But yeah, um, it's very vague. Um, some stats, if you lower them and then you get other certain stats higher, it raises its power and stuff. There's a lot of, you know, there's not much information on it. It's so vague out there that I wish someone <laughs> would discuss it so I can learn more and learn how to make everything better. I want to make my champions better. And it's hard that there's not a lot of resources out there. They always tell you what's best on your champion, what they put on it, what they recommend. But I'm like, I need to know the stats to make them more powerful. I need to know what stats I'm looking for, what stats to put on them, what the stats should be. That's that's the main key is knowing the stats and what stats I should be looking for to get her powerful. So yeah, it's a lot to learn. Hopefully I can, you know, grasp a concept of it and learn. Um, I really need that free regear again because that's how I got her where she is, was doing the free regear. I need another one of those, like, stat so I can make my champions better without costing too much silver. So yeah, I hope that gives you a little bit more information about the Forge Pass and you know, a rundown about it. Um, if you have any questions, just leave it down in the comments. I will definitely answer any question about the Forge Pass that you have. And I hope you guys have a great day and I'm hoping that I get this done before my phone dies. So good luck to you all. Good luck to everyone in the Forge Pass. Um, if you are going to buy it, if you're going to free to play, let me know in the comments. I would love to know your opinion about it and if you like it or not if it's an option, if it's viable, if it's going to work for your account, not work for your account, you know, just your general opinion, I would love to know about. So yeah, put it all in the comments and I will see you guys next time. Good luck. It's about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take.